Angela for the blog, Angela Marie Made. And today I'm going to show you how to enclose the space above your kitchen cabinets. Our kitchen cabinets were very standard in builder grade, so instead of just painting them as part of our kitchen makeover, we decided to extend them to the ceiling and add crown molding to them. This project cost us less than $60 to do, and I think it made a significant difference in making the kitchen look more custom and have more character. I also love that we don't have dust collecting above the kitchen cabinets in that empty space anymore. This project is really easy if you have kitchen cabinets along just one wall. If you have a corner cabinet like we do that extends to the adjacent wall, it makes it a little bit more difficult because you have to do corner cuts with the crown molding, but it's definitely still worth the extra time and effort to do that crown molding. All right, let's get started with this enclosure. Begin by using a stud finder and marking where the studs are on the ceiling above the cabinets. Then add a two by two board to the top of your cabinet with two inch brad nails and a brad nailer. Make sure to attach them a quarter inch back from the front edge of the cabinet. We held a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood in front of the two by two to line it up correctly when we clamped the two by two down. Next, attach a two by two with screws into the ceiling studs above the bottom two by two. In order to attach our ceiling two by two in the correct spot so that it was aligned with the bottom two by two, we held a scrap piece of wood up against the bottom board with a square and marked where it hit the ceiling. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but this way worked for us. Also, it helped to drill a pilot hole through the ceiling two by two in order to get the screws into the two by two and ceiling studs easier. Continue this step until you have finished adding the two by two boards along all of the cabinet tops and the ceiling. Cut any additional two by two boards to size with the miter saw where needed. If you are planning on adding crown molding like we did, then two by four blocks need to be added between the two by twos so that the molding has wood to nail through. Most ceilings aren't perfectly level, so measure what the exact distance is between the two by twos at a few different spots and mark those spots on the wall. Cut the two by four boards to those sizes and add a pocket hole to each side of the two by four boards with a Craig jig. Also, it helped to number each two by four board to remember exactly where it should go between the two by twos. Attach the two by fours to the two by twos with two and a half inch Craig screws. Note that the two by fours don't have to be screwed in really tight since you don't want them pulling on the two by twos. You just want them tight enough to be secure. Make sure to mark on the ceiling where these 2x4s are located so you can nail the crown molding into them after they've been covered with the plywood. Step 3 is to add the plywood to the 2x2 frame above the cabinets. Measure the distance between the ceiling and kitchen cabinets. Then cut a piece of quarter inch plywood to this size less a quarter inch so you can easily move it into the space. We actually had our plywood cut at the home improvement store, but you can also cut it with a table saw, circular saw, or a Dremel. Attach the cut plywood to the two by twos with one and a quarter inch brad nails. If you have cabinets that are just on one wall, this step is really easy. But if your cabinets are like ours where one corner cabinet is located on the adjacent wall, then two pieces of plywood will join together to create an outside corner. You can keep this simple and just have the two edges joined together next to each other. But we wanted a cleaner corner edge and decided to add a 45 degree edge to the two ends for a clean joint. If you have a table saw, you can do this, but we don't. So we used our router and our 45 degree chamfer router bit to add a 45 degree edge to the two board edges. We still ended up with a small gap in the end between the boards, but it all cleaned up in the end with some good caulking. The last step is to attach the crown molding. Use brad nails and attach them through the bottom of the molding into the two by fours and along the ceiling into the ceiling stud. Again, if you just have one wall of kitchen cabinets, then adding the crown molding is really easy and you don't need any fancy angled cuts. But if your kitchen cabinets are like ours with the corner cabinet on the adjacent wall, then an inside corner and outside corner cut is needed for the crown molding. We ended up using a classic no compound miter cut 
method for both the inside and outside corner cut. I will have to do a separate tutorial on crown molding, but I will link in my blog post tutorial a handy resource guide for cutting crown molding. The last step is to fill all nail holes in with a lightweight spackle and to caulk any gaps, seams, and corners with a paintable caulk. Lastly, paint the enclosure and crown molding. We used the Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint line in White Dove with a satin sheen. Extended kitchen cabinets with crown molding look great. This project really added a lot of character to our basic kitchen and it really feels like the room is taller and more airy now. I love the crown molding and it was such a low cost project that made such a big impact. Anyways, I can't wait to share what our next kitchen project is. Please subscribe to follow along and let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. Thank you again for stopping by.